It's been a while since we talked. Did you stop and think about it at all? And is it true, the ghost of us? Hey, this is Mika with Box Magazine. I you know when you're here and not here, you're a huge fan of pizza. Yes. Right? Who isn't, right? What is your go-to place here in Chicago? I, every time I come here, I go to Pequod's. I, the past few times I've been here, I, I go there because their crust is delicious and they have a little personal pan pizza. <laughs> Lunch <laughs> special for $4.99. Oh, wow. Well, I, yeah. I have not had Pequod, so I can't yeah. say. What do you get on it? Um, <clears throat> ham and pineapple. Oh. <laughs> New York style or deep dish? Deep dish, okay. always, yeah. Well, speaking of deliciousness, your new album, Dear You, is coming out October 14th. Yes. And this one's kind of a little different than your first two, and I hear that you actually um, crafted a lot of songs from unsent letters to past loves. Yeah. Um, unsent letters to uh, past loves and um, some girls that took away those past loves. So, um, just, I'm sort of passive aggressive, and so, right, it kind of goes hand in hand with uh, songwriting. And um, yeah, sometimes it was just easier to write songs uh, to these people instead of actually calling them up and being like, why did you do this? Um, or I feel this way. So, just easy. Did you actually take the letter and make it a song? Or like yeah. word for word? Or like Not word for word, but just, you know, um, they were inspirational. inspirational. Yeah. Well, hindsight is always twenty twenty. Do you wish you ever stamped one in the one side of those guys? Um, no, but I think I secretly hope that one day they'll hear the song. You know, well, one of them. One of them, yes. One of the eleven. <laughs> songs one of the, on the eleven record. people that the eleven songs are written about. <laughs> uh, I also hear, or with this record, that you're kind of. It's a little sonically different too, right? Um, it's not so happy. It might be a little more confessional. Yeah, it's, um, I don't know. I, I It was easier for me to, it's always been easier for me to write sad songs um, or confessional songs. And the happy ones are just, uh, they're kind of few and far in between. So this record is it's pretty confessional and not the happiest, but, um, but I really like it. I feel like it's the best work I've done yet. Wow. With the last record, The Bright Side, um, I know there are some remixes for Leave the Lights On that kind of transitioned into some electronic. And in this album, you actually ditched the acoustic guitar for some electric guitar. What kind of was the segue and transition with plugging in? Um, I don't know, just experimenting. I feel like this record was, is, was like an art project. Um, I got in the studio and it was just me and the producer and we were just trying out different ideas and um, and I didn't ditch the acoustic guitar completely so there it's on a, a few songs but it was so much fun playing electric guitar and uh, on a, on other songs and just feeling like a badass and, and really uh, going for it so <laughs> I loved it good um, also with this actually all of your songs so um, Pizza, you're a huge fan of, <laughs> and you and Onions make me cry. You talk about grits and wake up, the new yeah. song, and I think breakfast and um, how lucky we are. Yeah. yeah. Well, do you write songs about food? About food <laughs> or while eating food? Um. Well, I guess maybe I, d I a lot of times I do because I, I usually write on napkins. Oh. Um, <laughs> um, so if I'm at a bar or if I'm at a, a restaurant and I'm like by myself, I'll just break out a, a few napkins and, and write a lot of stuff down. So maybe food is the ultimate inspiration. I actually remember, I think when I saw you one last time, you told me that you wrote maybe a complete song on napkins at a bar yeah, I did. about one of those girls. Yeah, it's called um, If He Doesn't Love You. Tell me more about that one. Well, I call it, um, it's AKA my, my booty call song. <laughs> and it's kind of a letter to myself or to other girls that were uh, are in that situation when you, you get the phone calls really late at night and it's someone you really like. And so you go and you 
visit them and uh, and you know it's never gonna go anywhere so um, it's basically a song that tells you just like enjoy it for what it is and and, um, and that's it <laughs> there's also another song in your album that I think you're going with that I think you wrote before but never released correct me if I'm wrong it's lose it about growing up in a smaller town and then moving away yeah um I grew up in a really small town in Georgia, about 800 people, and um, yeah, when I was writing for this record, I was just, um, I was thinking about how, when I was in high school, and I was just really, I felt very confined, um, and so the song is just about uh, being very ready to get out of the situation that you're currently in. Well, you did it. Yeah. You moved years ago to LA, right? Yes. What's the experience been like for you, and what would you hope when someone's listening to that song, maybe in that same situation? I know I've gone from a small town in Florida to Chicago, you know, and it, your wings can come and you fly. Yeah. What, what's your hope for someone listening to that? Like, I, I just feel like it's going to be that yeah, anthem. Yeah, the anthem. You know? um, yeah, no, I'm just, uh, I have written things just to, for myself, but deep down inside, I, I do know that other people can to it and that's really cool and um, yeah I, I feel like a lot of people in small towns are gonna or any sort of confined situation um, they're gonna relate to that song. Well Dear, dear You is out October 14th. Thank you so much for spending that time with us. Thank you! For more with Miko and for more exclusive video interviews visit boxmagazine.com.